Are you serious? Hey! Oh, 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 oh! I can't believe it! What is going on everyone? It is your boy S'mores. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a great day so far. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. I know I did and that is the reason why you guys have not seen an upload from me in over a week. I know I straight ghosted. I'm slacking but we are going to be back on the grind this week. I hope to upload every single day this week with the new update coming tomorrow. There is going to be tons of content to cover but we will get into all of that later. We have a lot to discuss today you guys but before we jump into all of that if you guys can go ahead and drop me a like on today's video it would be greatly appreciated and you guys just dropping a simple like on the video helps this channel out tremendously i am a smaller channel so any and all support is appreciated and if you guys are brand new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button hit those post notifications as i will be covering modern warfare throughout the entire year all right so let's go ahead and hop right into the first bit of business this p90 attachment that breaks the gun completely that one attachment is the forge tech retribution now i want you guys to take a look at the gun before and after with this one attachment and notice just how much this one attachment can make a difference on the gun the p90 to me is one of the most underrated smgs in the game and is another sleeper that i definitely think you guys should all give a try out at one point or another in the game so for my other attachments i had the monolithic suppressor I had the fly strap for my stock attachment, I had the granulated grip tape for my underbarrel, and for my rear grip I had the granulated grip tape as well. And for my second attachment, as you guys clearly saw in the intro, your boy went off with the deagle. Man, I felt like James Bond running around with the suppressor on this bad boy, but anyways, the attachments for this gun, I had the monolithic suppressor, I had the lightweight trigger just so you could have that faster fire rate. I had the 10 round mags on the deagle with the stippled grip tape and for my perk I had frangible wounding. Who needs a 725 anyways when you can just bust out the deagle like that and get one shots to the dome. Boy if you don't- Anyways for my perks I had EOD in the first slot, restock as my second slot and shrapnel as my third. For my lethal I was running proximity mines and for my tactical I actually switched it to stem instead of using a flashbang. Bro, is it just me or does manual healing in this game take forever? I did notice that myself, so that's why I went ahead and went with the stem shot because I just think the healing in this game takes too long to recover from and it helps you get back into gunfights quicker. So definitely try out the stem shot if you guys aren't already using that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so tomorrow is the big freaking day. We have been waiting so long for a huge update to bring some new, fresh content into the game and tomorrow is that time 
Let me know down in the comment section, are you guys excited for this update and what are you expecting most from this update? Me personally, I can't wait to see how these new maps play out. We have Crash, we have Vacant, and we have Shipment coming back into the game. Now I have seen photos and I will put these up on screen so we can go ahead and digest them just to see how different they look so far. After taking a look at these photos, I think that they could play well. It all just depends, man. Like this game, the flow of this game may not translate well into other maps previously made in COD. Like Shipment, whoo, that's either going to be a hit or miss. You guys know playing Shipment from World War II, it could be toxic at times. And I have a feeling it may be very toxic in this Call of Duty. But we will go ahead and find all of that out tomorrow. I will be buying the Battle Pass and making a video on that as well so you guys can see what to expect if you do decide to buy the Battle Pass. I'm not going to recommend it as of yet, but I will let you guys know further tomorrow. And like I said, I'm going to be uploading a video every day this week. So while I was gone over the holiday week, I come back to find out that the Infinity War developers are complaining about unhappy fans sending them death threats. You guys will have to fill me in completely on what's going on. I did see a few things on it, but I really didn't get too much in detail. But it seems to me the community is very upset with this game and although no one ever deserves to receive a death threat, I do understand everyone's frustrations and anger. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and dwell on it anymore. At this point, I've learned to just accept the game for what it is and just continue on playing it because honestly, they do not plan on making any changes that the community wants and they've already come out and said that with the interview with swag xpl unfortunately guys skilled based matchmaking is here to stay as well as with the mini map they don't plan on changing anything to do with those i did see they have been play testing around with the dead silence for example they thought about reducing the sound steps in multiplayer but I do not believe they plan on implementing any type of Dead Silence perk in the future. So yeah guys, like I said, we're just all going to have to accept the game for what it is this year. And just hope for the best next year. It is what it is and there's not really much we can do. There have been many people who have already voiced their opinions, even big time YouTubers. And they have made it clear that they don't care. So it is what it is. And we're just going to continue grinding out and doing what we can. And making the best out of what we got. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Be on the lookout for tomorrow's video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you guys can do me a favor and leave a like on the video, hit that subscribe button if you guys are brand new, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out. We're halfway there. Boy, this kid is after me like a mug, y'all. Bravo. There it is, boys. 